In this video, I'm going to show you how to run a straight pipe on any car, truck, or SUV. Um, my 2006 Town & Country with a 3.8 liter, the Cadillac converter is clogged and AutoZone wanted $390 plus tax. Um, so I found a cheaper way to do it. And I'm going to run a straight pipe of mine. And I'm going to show you how to get the parts to um, run a straight uh, pipe. And it'll be a lot cheaper um, to do this. The first part you're going to need is they call a flange flex exhaust. And it looks like this. And on um, every car, truck, um, and SUV, this will be different. Um, the holes right here, um, sometimes it'll be like three holes. Um, like you'll have like just three holes and some will have four well on the 06 town and country it has four um and i'm gonna put in a link in the description where to find that piece um there's a company who makes these and sells them online and uh it's called bear rivers converters um and i'll have that link in the description so that's the first thing that you need to order and buy um, this one costed $35 on that website, but I f also found this on eBay for $30, and it was free shipping, so I bought this off eBay. But if you read down through the eBay stuff, they got it from the same company, Bear Rivers Converter. So I went with eBay, so it saved me $5. The second part you're going to need is uh, a reducer adapter. And for an 06 town and country, it's two and a half ID by two and a, a quarter OD. And again, it's a reducer adapter. I got this at um, O'Reilly's for $3.41. And the third part that you'll need to buy is an O, it's, this is called an O2 uh, sensor exhaust. And that's what it looks like. And this is the part where you screw your oxygen sensor in here. And this cost me $13.99 at O'Reilly's. And you'll also need a O2, a brand new O2 sensor. And I got this off of rockauto.com because it was cheaper. This cost me $25, uh, I believe it was $0.56. Cents. And because uh, AutoZone and O'Reilly's wanted like thirty-five or forty bucks, or forty-five dollars, something like that, for that, so I got it. I ordered the um, O2 sensor off of RockAuto.com, and I'll have that um, link in the description as well. Um, so uh, now I'm gonna show you how to build this. It's really easy. Um, so what you want to do is you want to take your reducer adapter, stick it on here. And that's what it'll look like now after you do that. And uh, Bear Rivers Converters, they recommend you weld right here where you put on the adapter, the reducer adapter. They uh, recommend that you weld it. Um, you might be able to put a clamp on there. I'm not sure. Um, I might try a clamp when I go to do my van. Uh, maybe I'll do a, a weld if I can get a hold of my brother. But uh, anyway, the third, the next thing you want to do is take this third part. And uh, you want to just stick it on here like this. And that's what it'll look like. And it's done. So basically, um, this is your new Cadillac converter, but it's not a Cadillac converter. This is just running a straight pipe. Um, and then you want to screw in your oxygen sensor, just like that. That's how you screw in your oxygen sensor. And then you just uh, plug it in. I didn't screw mine in all the way, but. Um, so that's all it is to it. This setup cost me $70, $72.96 cents so far. Um, you'll also need to buy uh, a clamp for right here. And then um, 
and another clamp for here. So you'll need two clamps right here, one on each side, um, and one and one up here if you choose to do that. So it'll be three clamps. Um, you might need to buy a another uh, exhaust pipe, like a small exhaust pipe to connect here, and then connect it to the rest of the muffler or uh, exhaust pipe on your car. Um, so you, you might need one, two, three clamps. And if you put one here, it's four. If not, um, I'd weld it. Um, so that's about all there is to this. Um, again, this is for a 2006 town and country. But you can um, uh, pretty much do this to any car, truck, or SUV, and it saves you money from buying a Cadillac converter. Um, I did buy all this. I ordered it and bought it. Um, I called a couple garages and they would not, um, install this. They would not, um, install it. I, I called a couple garages and they said that, um, they won't do the work because it's a, uh, federal offense. And if they got caught putting this on your car, they would, uh, get charged 10 grand to, for them to do the work. Um, so the garages will not touch this. But, uh, so you'd, you'd have to find like a personal mechanic, um, or do it yourself to put it on, which I'm going to, um, put it on. So that'll be that. Um, uh, another way to find the, uh, flange flex pipe is you can just go to Google and type in, uh, flange flex exhaust and, uh, it pull it up and. You, I think you just have to click on whatever it pulls up and then you can select like the year, your car and all that kind of stuff. But I'll put in the main website for here. That's uh, the company that sells that and the link in the description and they have, uh, you can call them uh, or email them uh, to give them that information as well. Um, so I hope this helps you and I'll, uh, if I remember after I, buy the stuff for this side. I'll try to get a picture of that if I remember, and I'll try to include it into this video. Um, so thanks again, and comment to me what you think. Uh, good luck. Thanks. Bye.